Cuando se escriba la historia completa del siglo XX, no se podrá olvidar el 2 de diciembre de 1942, fecha del nacimiento en Chicago de la pila atómica, fundamental para la conquista del espacio. Ese año, Guillermo González Camarena patentó en Estados Unidos el primer sistema de televisión a color, igual de útil para la cosmonáutica del futuro. There was a big transition there between the early days when we did not have any television to when we first saw video come back from space. In fact, it happened just in this room here. Now, I can tell you that uh, I was the, the subsystem manager at the time trying to get the program to use television, and I got a very uh, slow response from the from the management until we first saw video come back from space. And then all of a sudden they realized, boy, this really is something. We can actually see what these people are doing, what the, what the astronauts are doing, and understand that they're well and that they're doing things like they should, uh, then better than just talking to them. So that was a big change at that time. Uh, that was even when we had black and white TV. And later on, we had uh, this uh, uh, idea about going to color television, and nobody would believe that we could really do that because the cameras were so large. And then we found uh, uh, this camera that uh, uh, Mr. Camarena had uh, put together, uh, this, this technology, and so we were able to, to build a smaller camera, and there was a lot of uh, a very quick work back then. Well, I wish I would have known Camarena. I never did meet him. I never did know him. But uh, I can tell you that uh, the technology that uh, he, he developed was uh, uh, a very uh, good one, a very simple one, uh, simple in the sense of uh, uh, not being complicated like NTSC, and it provided better, higher quality images. We still use it today. There are some, uh, for example, some medical uh, television cameras that use uh, Camarena's type of technology. It's a very good system to use. It's, it's, got, its uh, got many uses for many different things and uh, I think we'll continue to use it even though we're going into much more sophisticated technologies in the future. <laughs> 